What is going on everyone? My name is as you know Martin Nobel and today we're going to be looking at the iMac early 2009. So, as you can see, this is the iMac early 2009. It is one of the last aluminum iMacs to have a back covering in the color black. From then on it was all in silver in the back just like the front. And it and this is the 20 inch model, also one of the last 20 inch models, because after that Apple only used 21.5 and 27 inches. On the back you got all your I.O. including only FireWire 800, as in because the earlier models had FireWire 800 and 400, but it was already outdated by them. You got four USB ports, a mini display port, a Kensington security slot, and audio in and out. So, now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's turn it on. So you can hear the super drive power up, and then you hear the startup chime. Now, it is going into Mac OS X Snow Leopard, which is 10.6.8. I got this computer in 09 as a replacement to an iMac which I got in early 2008 which kept on having random shutdowns. It was discovered to be a motherboard problem by Apple and they just gave me a new one. So that's a really quick startup. It runs Snow Leopard really well actually. So we're just going to go into Apple and about this Mac. So as you can see it is running 10.6.8 with 3 gigs of DDR3 RAM. This is one of Apple's first DDR3 full 64-bit computers. It has a 2.66 GHz Intel Core 2 Dual. Now, let's look at some of the applications on this computer. But first we're just going to lower the brightness a little. Yeah, safe to say that the brightness is lowered enough. Now let's look at, at some of the applications. So this is not OS X line, so it does not have the launch pad. However, this is the reason why I only kept it at Snow Leopard is because if I upgrade to line, I could no longer run PowerPC apps. So over here, we got iLife09. Let's open Keynote. I haven't registered anything yet, register later because I'm not bothered to. You got the welcome, which I'll just close. And then you got all your iWork09 choices. And my favorite I prefer is Gradient, actually. Gradient's the one they use in Apple's keynotes. So I could just, this is a test. So that's iWork09. We got iPhoto, iMovie, and GarageBand. We're going to open iMovie. This it, version of iMovie, I think, is iMovie 11, part of the iLife 11 package. Yep, this is 11. Now, one good thing about 11 is if you want a new project, you could actually set up a movie trailer on iMovie. So you got all the high def films and then you could just set your store your trailer from there. Yeah. iLife 11, I think it was the first to introduce trailers as you can see. Now it can also run some other programs. I'll see if I have any. It can run the latest version of Firefox, although sooner or later that will not be supported anymore. So we can go into Apple's homepage. It is safe to say that this came with OS X Leopard 10.5.6 but it's, Leopard is 100% no longer supported. You can't use YouTube with it. On the other hand you could still run Microsoft Office 2011 if you want. 
or run some older programs such as Photoshop Live Type and even Adobe Premiere if they have it for that time. So this is the website for the iMac and all the Apple. Now Final Cut Pro, I don't even think it's even supported as in Final Cut Pro 10, which is the latest version. So I'm not sure about that. So that's Firefox. Now iChat is also obsolete, so we're just going to get rid of it from the dock. Let's look at GarageBand. Now this is also a garage band from iLife 11, which was one of the last ones before they moved on into the more modern kind in the look, which was on Logic Pro 10 and Final Cut Pro 10. So we can actually go into choose a magic garage band. So if we could just choose any genre like blues, jazz, country, Reggae, funk, Latin, etc. Country. Yeah, and you also have a lesson store, which I think it's still supported to today. So if you want to get a lesson from some artists, including One Republic, on how to play certain songs, just go on to the lesson so store and then you can just buy a lesson, and choose your difficulty for your instrument. So, right now it only supports guitar and piano. And it can also tell you how you could actually learn all of the piano, as in the basics. That's if you have a MIDI keyboard. And we also got iDVD and OS X Snow Leopard actually still supports F S Spotify, but not for long. It's only for a few more months and then it's safe to say that they no longer support it. So you got all your songs, you can browse, you can follow whoever. I just played a Nickelback song and I think, yeah, that's Spotify. So there you have it. This is the iMac early 2009. If you have any questions about it, please leave it below. Thank you all for watching and see you all later.